Hi everybody, it's Irene here from Marketing and I'm sitting here in the most beautiful surroundings, look at that pool, with a former Jess alumni, one of our older alumni, Dave Horan, and Dave has kindly agreed to sit down and chat about his time at Jess and what he's been up to since then. Hi Dave, thank you so much for joining Hi, us. How are you? Good, good. Uh, Dave, do you want to just uh, start off by telling us when you left Jess and you were in Jumeirah, Jess yeah, Jumeirah? Yeah, well we, we came out to Dubai from Ireland in 84. Wow. So there wasn't much choice of schools to go to. I think it was either Des or Jess, the language speaking school or Jumeirah English speaking school. And we choose Jess. Fab. And uh, we lived in Garhoud, so it was quite a ride to school. It was like a <laughs> 40 minute ride back then when we pulled my own driving. The roads uh, would have been very different back then. There wasn't many roads. It was, uh, <laughs> yeah. We'd come down the Abu Dhabi Highway, which was just two lanes back in 84. Two lanes wow. each side, no central reservation, wow. just sand. And you'd eventually arrive at Jess, which was kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. I think Saffa Park might have been across the road then or close by, but uh, I just remember the car park being all stones and sand. There was no asphalt leading to the school. Amazing. Uh, the school itself, uh, I'm going back now 25 years. Uh, actually, 35 years I'm going back. My yeah, God, a long it's time been a long ago. time. Uh, the school itself was, it was fairly new, but it, it had that old feel, you know, it was landscaped, there yeah. was trees. I remember the smell of the, I don't know what the trees were called, not gaff trees, but you know, the local Arabic trees. Yeah. Everything was in the shade, which was quite nice. It's still a, very leafy and shady. Yeah, I, I remember that. And it had a pool, which coming from Ireland, we didn't have swimming <laughs> pools in Ireland. So, uh, and it was very outdoorish, you know, because of the weather, I guess. Um, yeah. Although we did arrive in May and it was hot and that was, that was a change, which is why the pool was nice. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I just vaguely remember the teachers being pretty laid back. Um, it was multicultural, obviously. I was the yeah. only Irish guy in the school, wow. or in the class anyway at the time. Um, so nobody understood a word I said because I had an Irish accent. I just <laughs> like to see everything three times. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I settled into it pretty quick and then uh, my class progressed on to Dubai College. Brilliant. Um, which was great. So I got to meet the guys there and then going to Dubai College. So you all moved there. on to yeah, Dubai yeah. College. Yeah. And um, after Dubai College, what did you do then? What were your This was a big plans? problem for a lot of us because we were expat brats as such. You know, yeah. we'd grown up in Dubai, especially those that came out in the 80s. So we were doing our A-levels and um, they were giving us these brochures on all these universities in the UK because it was a British system, obviously. Yeah. But we didn't know anything about London or the, the west of the UK or going up north. So I was confused as hell, A, what I wanted to do when I finished Dubai College, and, and B, where I was going to study. Yeah. So I said to my dad, hoping he'd say yes, could I take a year off after my A-levels, stay in Dubai, and take it from there. Take the year off just to work out what I'm going to do. Hmm. And he said, okay, as long as you get a job, you can stay in Dubai for a year and you can stay in our house, which is great. So uh, I went down to a garage in Umramu, um, which serviced Land Rovers, because I like cars. And they gave me a job as a part-time helper mechanic part-time desert recovery guy and pretty much part-time everything else. Yeah. So I did that for a year and in between I was also driving as a desert safari guide. Oh wow. That at the weekends, yeah. yeah. But I think the company was called Arabian Ventures. And I think they're still going. They probably yeah. are. Yeah. And uh, after that then as well, or in between all of that, I, I started to learn to fly. I got a flying lesson at what was called Emirates Flying School at the airport when I was 16. Wow, so you learned in Dubai. So I got my private pilot license wow. in Dubai. So my friends were pulling together some cash. We take the plane up at the weekends for an hour. So they pay for the fuel, I fly the plane. And uh, I suddenly realized this flying stuff actually is quite nice. Maybe I should make a career out of this. <laughs> so I spent uh, just over a year doing all of that. And then I went to the States and went up and got my commercial license. Fantastic. Went down to the UK and I did a lot of stuff in between because it was 35 years ago. Yeah. And I'm back here now in Dubai flying for Emirates as a okay. pilot. Fantastic. So I miss Dubai. And yeah. I, I gather as well a lot of my friends who I met at Jess and in, in Dubai College also miss Dubai. And they're back here too. Fantastic. So, yeah. um, I believe you have a really nice Instagram account which will pop the details oh, below here for yeah, everyone to well, have a look. It's, it's a desert that And you, it, yeah. you love the desert. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's above. You know, you come from Ireland and it's green and there was lakes and rivers. And yeah. I, I missed that when we came out. We had four dogs. As you can see, I've still got another dog down yeah. here, Toffee. Yeah, <laughs> um, but it was it was a big change of lifestyle. So my dad, to kind of soften the blow, bought me a little motorbike and pointed me off towards um, what was it called? It was a big lagoon around the end of the creek. Yeah, I'm just driving from there and then into the desert as we got older. So the desert's always been a passion. Amazing, and yeah. Your uh, photos are great. Yeah. Yeah, but it, it's just in Dubai. I think you have to have a hobby when you come back, and what, whether it's going to the beach, surfing, or yeah. going to the mountains, hiking, or driving in the desert, you need to make the most of. I what's agree, there. and. Um, what would you say or what, what advice would you give to any of our uh, future alumni or anyone graduating from Jess next year? Is there any advice, piece of advice you'd give to uh, any of them? Don't panic. 
Um, it, it's great, you know, if you're looking at studying back in your home country and you know what you're getting yourself into. For those who are here longer term, like I was, I came out quite young, it was a big, big jump leaving the country to study, leaving your parents, leaving your friends. And uh, if you're uncertain, just take a year off and decide in slow time what you want to do. Don't feel pressurized that you have to do something at 19 and you can put it off to 20. Um, because you don't want to jump into something and then realize yeah. three or four years down the line, or worse yet, 20 years into a career, that it's yeah. not the decision that you wanted to do in the first place. That's fantastic. So take your time. Yeah. And uh, also, you know, it's, it's important not just what you do as a career, but where you want to work with that career, you know. So you try and piece yeah. everything in together. Brilliant. And if you like to buy and you miss to buy, just realize that there's opportunities once you've got experience. Yeah. To come you back. You can come back. But you always need to leave, unfortunately, I think, mainly anyway, to get the experience. To come to back. To then come back. And most that have come back have been away 10 years plus. Yeah. yeah. I and, think that's uh, great advice. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. But to give whatever you do, just don't panic. Yeah. And take your time. Brilliant. Yeah. Dave, thank you so much right, for the you. interview. And um, yeah, thank you. Yeah. See thank you. you for reminding me I'm so old as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 35 years no, ago. No problem. Anytime. All right. Great. Thank you.